Hi, Josh Shapley here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Virginia Golf Center, and I'm going to talk about how to get to a little bit of a flatter golf swing. It's been a trend in modern golf to swing a little flatter. Most kids, when they naturally grab a golf club, for whatever reason, tend to swing more upright. A lot of the kids I coach tend to go more vertical, more over their head. And I try to get them to swing flatter, but it's not just for kids. It would be good for any age person to swing a little flatter on the way back. One, it allows you to get a deeper rotation. Notice how much my hip turned in order to get flat. When you swing more armsy, it tends to go more up over your head. And when you're very upright in your swing, you tend to get steeper, have more digging shots, also more slices, right? If you tend to swing more of your arms, the path's gonna be more across your body to create more slices, more bigger divots, lengthening the club when you swing more arms. The shallower, flatter swing is more rotated. It's easier to get the club inside, easier to hit a draw, a little more shallow angle of attack. Looks something like this. Notice I'm well rotated. The club is behind me, as opposed to being less rotated, more armsy, more upright. And again, that would lead to steeper golf shots. So I'm gonna hit a shot for you now. Hopefully you notice that on the way back, my path is a little flat, my plane is a little flat, and that allows me to have it from the inside, hit more of a draw, and have a little bit more of a shallow angle of attack to the golf ball. The two things you want to do to get the club a little flatter are a lower lead arm, left arm for right-handed golfers, so that would look more like this. A high lead arm gets the club more upright, a lower lead arm gets it flatter. See the difference? The other aspect would be your wrist mechanics. If you have your wrist more hinged this way, instead of more this way, that gets the club more across the line, that gets it more laid off. So if I hinge this way with my wrist, and have a low lead arm, now the club's gonna be naturally flat at the top. Of course, the other reason it gets flatter is if you have more rotation. I'm Josh Apple, and that's your tip of the day.